Hey guys, I'm Carl and welcome back to SMA. I am here in the northern Michigan woods enjoying a beautiful day. It's in the mid 50s here. We don't get many of these sorts of days in March. So I figured it would be a good time to come out here and talk about a few things. So one of the things I want to talk about today is kind of how I've gone through camera equipment. And there's a reason for this. Trust me, it has to do with surviving middle age. Just bear with me. So the first thing that I shot on is what I'm shooting on today, which is my cell phone, my uh, Samsung S9 Plus. And I shot on that because, well, it was the only thing I had. So that's what we went with to start off. After that, we moved, I added on the mic, which is on here, because the sound on that first video was awful, like all kinds of awful. So we added the mic, and that helped. The next thing I added was um, this little guy here. This is a, a GoPro, a Hero 7. Um, and it's been around the block a few times now. I bought this last March. No, actually last February, I think. It is the middle of a pandemic and I still have cars driving by. How's that possible? Don't know. Anyways, so I bought the GoPro and I bought the GoPro because what I like about it is that it's small. It can fit in my pocket. Um, I can put it just about anywhere and I can get different sorts of angles and stuff. The other thing about the GoPro is because it is waterproof is that I can get shots of playing in the waves. One of the things we like to do when we go on vacation is play in the waves and get smashed in the waves. So it's a little something like this. So that's why I got the GoPro and uh, the GoPro just opened up a whole world of things for me. One of the things I wanted to do when I started buying some camera equipment stuff was I didn't want to buy things only for the, the channel because the idea of just buying things for a YouTube channel that you may do, you may not do, what if it doesn't work out, then you spent you know a thousand bucks on a camera and you don't have anything. I wanted to buy stuff that I would use. So you're going to see a sort of a, you're going to see a pattern here, you're going to see that Whenever I get a camera, they're usually small and they're usually for things that I can use for my own home videos, which I do a lot of. One of my favorite things to do is when you go on a trip um, is to make a music video on it. Um, and so all my stuff relates back to that. So yeah, I got a GoPro. It gave me great angles, uh, waterproof. Um, we tend to be water people, sail, ski, jet ski, all that kind of stuff. So this was a really fun purchase and went a long way. Next thing I bought is this guy here. This is a Mavic Mini drone. And again, super tiny. I can fit this in my pocket if I wanted to, though why you would do that I have no idea because you still got to bring around the controller and batteries and other stuff like that. But super small little container there that you can carry this thing in. And we went to Hawaii and we shot all kinds of stuff with this. Um, like this clip right here from Lanakai. Nothing can ever change the way I feel about you. I promise I will stay.
So that is so beautiful. I, I love Lanakai and I love that, that footage that I got there. Um, so let me talk about more importantly why I buy these things. Why I buy something like um, a drone and the, uh, the GoPro. When I get one of these things, it's not about, you know, the, the specs, the frame rate, the quality. Um, I'm not that good of a photographer, not that good of a videographer that it matters that much. What is most important to me is when I get one of these things is the possibilities of it, right? So the GoPro, I got this thing and I would sit it like um, underneath a dock and my kids would jump over it and I get these cool shots uh, that you would never see anywhere else of them diving in off the dock on the go on the drone. Open this sucker up real quick. So with the drone, the thing that I liked is that we'd be driving along the highway, we'd see something cool, and we'd be like, all right, let's get out. I get out, I could pop this thing open, have it up in the air in about three minutes. Uh, I got really good at, at getting it up in the air, and I would get shots that I would not see anywhere else. So why did I get a drone? Why did I get a GoPro? It wasn't about great photography, great videography. I got these things because they opened up possibilities, right? As I've mentioned before, I'm a factory worker. I've been in factory work most of my life. I just celebrated 20 years at the same plant. Um, and being a factory worker is great. It's been able to feed my family, keep a roof over our head. We've been able to do a few things here and there. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't feed my creativity. And the more I look around, the more it bothers me that I'm not creative. I am surrounded by people who are painters, ex-ballerinas, people who've written books, um, a, a guy who teaches music at a professional private school, um, all these kinds of things. I'm surrounded by, by creative people all the time. And I myself am not, and that bothers me. So one of the things I, I like to do with video and photography is I like that it opens up a side of me that I've never had a chance to show. Um, a, a creative side that is just not there. I mean, here, let me show you, give you an example of a picture I painted, just to give you an idea of how bad I am at this stuff. See this thing here? This is, this is something I painted, and obviously it's not very good. Okay, actually, this is great. Um, this was painted by a guy named Cap, we, uh, we bought this from when we were in Hawaii, and now it's this guy over here, the fire knife guy. <laughs> Let me give you an example of some of me and my own creative abilities. Let's go inside and I'll draw something for you real quick. Let's go inside in three, two, one. All right, welcome to my art studio slash home office. As you see, I have all the important things here. My artistic utensil, um, my artwork that I will try to recreate, my Dharma Initiative mug that I got in Hawaii. Hmm, can't do anything without coffee. So. Just a reminder, this lovely piece of artwork, hopefully you can see that, uh, is what I'm going to try to recreate to show you what kind of artistic talent I have. So, just so you're aware, this is taken from Kualoa Ranch. This is where it was painted from. Um, Kualoa is basically where anytime they film a jungle movie uh, or TV show, they go to Kualoa. Uh, King Kong, Godzilla, Lost, Jumanji, all that stuff gets filmed here in uh, Kualoa. And so it's from, from the perspective of the ranch, and then you got Chinaman's hat over here. So this is what I'm going to try to recreate. We've got our beach line, and then coming off of it, we've got some palm trees. Yeah, all right, there's one. Yeah, okay, so there we go. So as you can tell, 
I clearly did not paint this. So, painting, drawing, that's not going to be the canvas that I will be working on. So, when I'm trying to think of, um, trying to be creative, trying to be artistic, I think the video uh, photo realm is something that hopefully I can do, and that's what I'm going to try to do with this channel. So, let's jump back outside right now. Okay, so as we can see, not that creative, right? Not that good at this stuff. So when I, when I pull out my drone or the GoPro or whatever camera it is I buy next because I'm looking at something a little bit better than my phone to, to shoot stuff on, it's not about the stats of the camera. It's not about, you know, does it shoot 4K, 60, 8K or any of that sort of stuff. It's about expressing myself, about giving myself an outlet. So my question to you, my challenge to you, my homework for you, and I've been forever since I've done homework for you guys, is what is it, how do you express your creativity, right? How, what are the things that you do that shows kind of what goes on inside, right? What are the things that you do that expresses who you are and the way you see the world? Um, I would like love it if you drop something down in the blah, blah, below and let me know. Otherwise, you have a great week. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy. I hope this coronavirus thing isn't touching you too much, and I hope we can get back to normal as soon as possible. We'll see you later. Take care. Bye.